Hello everyone, how are you? This is Dr. Kim. So, uh, in today's video, I want to show you how a stainless steel crown appears on radiographic images. So, uh, what you're seeing is tooth number 19 with a radio opaque uh, coronal restoration, full coverage coronal restoration that's placed. Um, and if you look at this, um, there's kind of unique couple features that we can uh, address. Uh, first of all, overall outline of the crown is very smooth and it lacks some of the anatomic details. Uh, if you look toward the cervical area, we can see that uh, margin of the crown does not adapt to the uh, overall emergency pro emergence profile or the root surface of the tooth. So that's another thing. And additionally, if we look this portion of the stainless steel crown, you can um, kind of see through um, this portion of stainless steel crown such that you are able to pick up the natural uh, root anatomic information. Right? So um, it's not entirely radio opaque such that you can see still on some of the underlying um, uh, anatomic information and um, you can kind of make out uh, this portion of the crown as well. Um, let's take a look at another view of this crown. So let's pull this up. So now we're looking at bite wing and again we can see that very smooth outline of the crown. Um, and here we go, that shape or size of the crown does not uh, meet or doesn't have that smoo smooth uh, emergency profile that I was referring to and um, uh, uh, this stainless steel crown is typically used for a temporary restoration either for adults uh, but mostly for uh, children. Um, another thing that we note here is that there's that radiolucency below the margin of existing restoration. So this appearance is consistent with uh, recurrent decay. And also we have wing-like projections on the mesial and distal surface of tooth number 18. And this is consistent with uh, dental calculus. So I just want you to see overall shape and size, and sh sh excuse me, shape and overall radio density of the stainless steel crown. Uh, what's interesting about this patient is this patient is in uh, her 60s. So I'm kind of curious as to why we s we're seeing stainless steel crown on her, uh, how long she has had this place in her mouth. So those are some questions that I have because once again, in most cases, I see stainless steel crown in pediatric population. So um, if it's used for adult, it's usually for a very uh, temporary period of time before he or she is able to get their uh, permanent crown. So that's uh, some questions that I have for uh, this patient. But again, um, I want you to be able to recognize stainless steel crown when you see it next time on periapical or bite wing radiographs. Thank you very much for your attention and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.